that now so today we have a guest and guess who it's me in the flesh tan crazy in the building exactly guys <laughs> so tanaka has questions for me guys mm -hmm. i'm like i'm i'm curious yeah i don't even know what the questions are she uh -huh. doesn't know she was like show me the questions i'm like no okay so i'm ready so what we're doing today is i'm asking her questions that young girls want to ask to know before getting into marriage so i'm so excited because very soon see i was given a promise ring so the engagement ring can come anytime so i need to know exactly i need to know what's up okay so the first question is what's the right age to get married i think um i got married at 22. okay that's yeah. me next year yeah amen <laughs> please i it. can't wait I'm joking, I wanna, guys. Yeah, I, I want to attend your wedding you too. Should, you're going to be a bridesmaid. <laughs> you see, exactly. Mm -hmm. But next guys, year, but I'll be I lying. think um, after you finish your school, mm -hmm. guys, books before boys. But anyways, That's you should date. Lie. You should date. Go on vacation. Yeah, I, in school. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I would go on vacation, guys. Mm -hmm. But I think any right time, we see the underage time. Mm -hmm. We see the underage because underage we see me at eighteen. And yes. yes. If you are 19 and you know that you are now financially mm -hmm. well, you can take care of yourself mm -hmm. and you are ready to settle with someone who you see that he loves you and you love them back yes. and he has the money to come take and work. Please go on. Do it. Okay. Why, why are you waiting? I think it's actually <laughs> nice to get, get married when you are younger mm -hmm. than when you are older. Then you you have together. Yeah, you build together. I have time to build you have things that you want people have different goals some people want you want to have things some, some, those things earlier than so it's better for you to get married earlier then you know okay That's okay so how do you deal with people's opinions in your marriage i, I really do get people's opinions oh, people don't say like what for example like for example anatete I don't have those people really? in my life. Really? That's good. So I'm, to be honest, I don't nice. have like I live peacefully. Because there's no one from everyone. Serious? Yeah, like people most ask questions. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, not just me asking. It's everyone who wants to know. My my personal marriage, I don't have like opinions from Anatiete, like even my husband's side. Like oh, that's nice. So you're blessed. we just we just live. Maybe it's because I stay far away from sea. Okay. But then how to deal with people's Mm -hmm. opinions you guys if you are married right and maybe anatete your your tetes your personal tetes yeah. or they might tell you their opinions you should take them you weigh them with your partner mm -hmm. but are, are these opinions beneficial to us because i feel like every marriage is tailor made okay you can't use marriage yeah, you because yeah, maybe it doesn't fit in your marriage. exactly. Okay. So you just take them, but upon an idea, I I don't want those advices. Just say, oh, thank just, you. Yeah, we will do that. Thank so you. That you then don't do have drama. exactly. Then you evaluate them later on, okay. and you just do what you wanna do with your life. Okay, Curious. and I also have really nice um, in-laws. I know that's <laughs> right. So we're blessed, but like she said, if you have problems, just sit down and you know talk about it yeah and then how don't be a stab on my coat yeah <laughs> stab on my coat yeah uh next question how did you know that he was the one i felt it in your like you know the first day i saw him Ooh. like we we're not even dating or what like the first day i saw saw him like god spoke to me That's guys nice. i know people say i'm lying like even she's telling the truth I'm, I'm telling like in my I head know, I the, know as well like I just you're like not even like I heard this, this voice the saying this is this might be your husband and really? I was like and I just started brushing it all like you know, why is it saying this like ah. you know and then that was just it okay and now we are married now God can married, talk to you happy. Mm -hmm. you have to listen when God speaks exactly. and the discernment as well because other people can be from the enemy exactly. did you watch who, who did I marry that series yeah, I did. Yeah, girl, she so thought he was the one. God but said no. no. But and then she's I like, think my signs are very cool. The like car that, tire. The car tire. She should have yeah. gone back home. But she was desperate. So Don't listen, get into speaks. marriage because of desperation. Mm -hmm. Wait for the right person at the right time. Um. 
signs to look out for to know that you're marrying the right person signs you should like certain features that you saw then you're like okay this person would be a great husband you know how you should you should be at peace with yourself every time you're in that relationship mm -hmm. you should be you shouldn't be like your heart is going pumping <laughs> you're not settled like when you Intuition. sleep at night and you you, you you like you think of your person right and then you're happy you, you're just happy and you see you, you're just at peace yeah when you're at peace with being in that relationship mm. go on but That's if you are not you are just seeing the red flags and you're like mm, these ones are purple Ooh. and you're going as the red flags are heart shaped <laughs> exactly exactly don't, that's don't. when you know you need to leave mm -hmm. yeah and also you should discuss things before marriage you should be able to discuss like um about kids about finances when are you going to be an auntie ah very soon <laughs> I'll even come here for the baby shower. You guys, I will fly everyone here. is asking me about being an auntie and stuff mm. like that. Can I money up and You guys should contribute pampers <laughs> every month. I want a hot mom that stroller. That's going to be spoiled. I'm telling hey, hey, you. I want a hot mom stroller. Mm. I want my child to live lavish because you guys want to be aunties, right? So bad. And you should be rich. Mm -hmm. So if you are not rich, don't ask me that question. <laughs> We need to take care of our nephew or niece, you guys. Mm, exactly, because mm. we wanted to hear of him mm. to live lavish. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. And then, how do you budget together as a married couple? You should have a savings account. Okay. Do you have a joint account, separate accounts, or both? I think we have both. And okay, so you have your own have account and you have a joint account. Yeah, exactly. That's how you but save. the joint account is just the savings account. Okay. Because it nice. has money for like everything. Like you, you should have. You have to plan. Like every year, yeah. you have to plan. But this year, what are we doing? So in what time budget. frame? Exactly. In okay. what time frame? Uh, for example, you should know what it. For other people, they wanna have kids. Like when they get 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 married and. That's the word for. For some people, they want to establish some things and then just that's have me kids. as well. And then have kids. Yeah. That are well taken care of and you know everything is terrible. Mm -hmm. And you know. I respect that. Yeah, exactly. Because if you rush, then you're not able to take care of the kids. Mm -hmm. For yeah, for yeah. example, when you go back to Zimbabwe, I shouldn't be going back to my mom's house. Yeah. Should be opening my keys to my yeah, house. Imagine yeah, having yeah. kids and going to your mom or my in laws' the house. house is full. It's full because you're burdening people. Mm. Exactly, you should be balanced, guys. Yeah. But people have different priorities in life, so yeah. you gotta do what you wanna do. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, do you pray together? Yeah, oh, we do. Oh, oh. <laughs> do you know who's it right now? Like I have alarm for like nine a.m., twelve during oh, the day. Nine a.m., twelve. Three, six for mm. prayer. That's like nice. I pray after every three hours, like every day. Okay. Then we go to church together. That's, That's important. Good. Like we hold hands and we pray. I know sometimes my husband will be mm. in some meetings or will be busy. Mm. Sometimes then I just keep. But when I'm free at that time, we are both free. And we Couples pray. that pray together stay together. Period. Period. Do you gossip together? You look like my own Yeah, <laughs> me and my husband. Imagine we stay twenty four seven together. So obviously we gossip. Like yeah, even you we want to talk gossip. We <laughs> say <laughs> ah, how na post get a naga pola. My like close this. friends. I'm sure you guys do. Ah, my close friends. Hey, close, close friends. <laughs> if you are not on naga pola's close yeah, friends, you, you are missing yeah. out, yeah. guys. I've on many people's close friends. I'm like, oh boy, hey, guys, she's in love. Yes. Yeah, me and my boyfriend also gossip together. Exactly. That's what keeps the relationship it's... strong. Yeah. Exactly. Um, do you guys have gender roles? For example, to be like only the woman cooks, only the husband does this, or you guys just share the the responsibilities equally. Okay. During the weekends, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not a morning person, mind you. Mm -hmm. So during weekdays I make sure I clean at night, then oh. in the morning. Oh. My house is clean. We just live till it too, guys. It's not. That's it's not right. hectic. But when I'm you have a baby, yeah. I'm, when I have a baby, I want to be having nannies and stuff yeah. because I don't want stress. <laughs> she don't want I stress. Want stress. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, um, but 
during the weekends my husband helps me clean my house we clean okay. together it's actually fun because yeah I try to talk and we talk and we talk faster faster to talk later or he can cook for me some days if he wants but oh, I love that's cooking sweet. that's a healthy marriage right here I take notes every day mm, you guys my husband, cooks, oh, my husband cooks for me but when he cooks he wants credit <laughs> like he should, every time you eat one spoon you'll be like mm, mm, it's, it's nice, nice. <laughs> it's like, ah, I can cook you see Mm. Was too, to, hey. You know, things like that. Ah, he wants credit. Like, you should comment until the last mm. spoon. Mm -hmm. mm. And then this one, I think you already answered. It's when should one have kids after marriage? You answered that one. You said oh, when you, you guys can... are financially ready. When you're financially ready. Oh, but sometimes it's not about being financially ready, right? Even mentally ready. Mentally kids. ready. Yeah. But sometimes you're not going to go in a marriage because you're not Oh, yeah. yeah. One it happens. Visa. So when I got to be married, me bad only no be good yara. And people get into marriage for the wrong, for the I mean wrong for the reasons. wrong reasons. I mean for because, different. Reasons. Okay, for different reasons. Some people get into marriage because main purpose. Ten percent, it's better. Okay. Because main purpose is because they wanna have um kids. She wanna have kids, or the husband wants to have kids. That's why I said you have to discuss what you are expecting from this. Some people they just wanna have kids. That's, sure. And after having kids, then they build after that. Yeah. Some people want to build their future before and bangwan and I don't want my kids to struggle. Mm -hmm. So people have different, different. requirements. Different. You should just do so could I will. Yeah. If it comes to kids, do what you want to Because if you listen to other people mm -hmm. then now you're not I can't happy. even tell you could you ah do this, do mm -hmm. that because but please yeah, do it has Javana early because we don't want you to be older then, <laughs> you know. <laughs> me giving this advice. Yes, she's really mm. giving us advice. How do I prepare myself to be a good wife? You should pray about it. It, you know, marriage is not that. But he like, might give free will. I can pray, God make me a good person, but only I can become a good person. Mm -hmm. God can't help you to be a good person. So yeah. how do I become a good person? Do you know? But it's easier to become a good wife if you have a good husband. Okay. Because you bring out the best, the in, each best in each other. Okay. If you have the wrong person, you become a mean person. Mm -hmm. You are not happy, and you end up treating your other half the wrong way, or you no longer feels comfortable. Okay. So I feel like you have both. Ways. It applies both ways. Yeah. But you can't be a good it wife. Takes and two. It takes two. You can't be a good wife, and your husband doesn't treat you well. Yeah. You become. You project how you're treated. Yeah, how you are treated. So. Mm -hmm. Also pray about it. Some people are just not oh. good people, even if they are not being treated. And also, you should just think, even Magaita, my arguments and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. If you know, put in Indian time, I say you should know. If you are quick to react, sometimes give yourself time, self, self some time. Okay. Then you think about it. Then why not? I'm partner young, I could do the those improve. I say then you come back. Then wait, I'm sorry, and you move on. Sometimes you don't have to be right to be yeah. sorry. Guys. Yeah. Sometimes you know, maybe he is wrong, but he, his just ego, for the sake of peace, his ego <laughs> is saying no. You should say even your sorry. Ego sometimes even my ego mm. sometimes my it husband can clash. It can clash. Even sometimes my husband just says sorry for the sake of peace because I that <laughs> ah, that's madam. Paka to yipa. Oh, mm. these people knew that you're not wearing shoes, then. I'm not <laughs> sure. Oh, Mm-hmm. Uh, bringing us to our last question, which you low-key answered, but how do you resolve conflict? Conflict in marriage. Mm, that's because you're staying together. You can't I, say I'm going home. You can't. You are together. Which, this uh, is home. I, I I don't even want to go home. <laughs> to go away. To go away. To go away. Oh, I'm, we are stuck together for life. Mm -hmm. Okay. No one says, uh, you get out of my house. No. I'm going home. Yeah. For what? Mm. This marriage thing is for forever. If you say I wanna do this with my person, yeah. unless that person is so toxic and yeah. okuro amu marriage, yeah. please leave because and cheating now no so well. we don't uh, and cheating, please. You might leave. You have to leave because uno was over because this nazi so. 
wakufa wa 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 exactly yeah. so abana za zino so mm. you have to leave maybe that person is not good for you or what has to be your marriage because yeah. we don't fake my job even young woman waka kujaja oti hey why wava mm. guys you know what's good for you yeah. but then conflict management it's normal in yeah, marriage no matter how even as couples eh, eh, eh. even you fight with even your mother with your mother people no matter how people look cute on instagram you're like mm, oh my <laughs> god this couple looks like <laughs> nothing is perfect like you see with it, ah, this couple looks like uh, yeah. like they are so cute yeah monotony and how you move forward how you move time. forward and then tell each other kuti isuska this is our marriage and i think some conflicts are not just marriage in you're stronger than yeah, before yeah. you realize kuti zimongo after my conflicts you move forward moto not ah so to one more maybe we'll spend the marriage series or the wife is <laughs> i feel like mad. that's you spending money i really do that ah! do you think i'm a man is yes i know those are not your shame is about no akunyara not no uh, <laughs> guys it was once <laughs> but, but you know that but it was my birthday okay like, that's fine it was my that's birthday fine. and my husband was like ah oh, you have to look mm. for a birthday outfit chichi okay. and can i just teach you no spend up more muna and to wood on you plan we plan we say ah your minimum amount here go is six thousand mm. you are going six thousand you are not going above that budget exceed. so you have to look for your things in the more okay. in a budget here go is six thousand and that's it okay. So kana naka spend a 10k na to pure free we we go to. Oh, and it was also your birthday. So, but the mongo no go no dia and chingo shika pa 6.5. Yeah. Especially log in the way. Guys. But guys make in the next. That more is you. I was there yesterday, the day before. Ah, uh, I get it. Yeah, I you understand. want to. It's that's so why, many nice that's things. That's why I told you that I no like, longer go to the mall like because that. Because pressure like that. to buy things is real. Even mo just came na kabuda na buda na tinga from the 2000. And you don't like, even want the like it's like why and am I, I buying more And you know go to kuno kwa ku do that just like the like things are now expensive. Because I na ku dala because Honestly, people say, ah, this came here that cheaper, but you guys, no good and you don't do that. And it's just yeah. one plastic bag for it's one k. Like yesterday, I was in clicks. I came mm. up with one plastic bag and it was a k. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I, I, two more questions. Yeah. Yeah. We're done. Thank you guys for watching. Thank Subscribe to my channel. Let's get it to one k. Exactly. Watch the end of. Period. Love you guys. The, vlog, the vlogs are coming. She's gonna post a vlog. I'm gonna post a vlog. Exactly. So stay tuned for that. We're going for lunch now. So yeah. Now. Bye. bye.